Hey guys, on this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest OS. Now this is mostly if you're already in iOS 8 and you just want to make the next update to it, this is the way to do it. Okay, so we it's a small update, so we don't need to make a huge backup. Um, however, you do want to make a backup before you do any updates anyways, although this one's really small to 8.1.3, okay? So you're going to go into iCloud. On iCloud, just scroll down until you see backup. It's going to say backup on. Also make sure it's on. And um, just press on backup now. Once you press that, it's going to take a few minutes to do your backup. Now you can do other stuff while this backup's happening. Okay, so we're just going to get out of there for now. Okay, what you guys want to do is go into general. Under general, you're going to see software update. So just tap on that and you're going to see iOS 8.1.3. So at this point, what you guys can do is just tap on install now. Okay, I'm not going to do that just yet, just because it's doing my backup. So I'm going to go back to my backup. Okay, and see how that's going. So once your backup's done, then you're ready to go. Now if you're just updating from your iOS 6 or 7 and you're going to 8 then I suggest doing a double backup. So one on your iCloud, okay, and then your second one on your iTunes. So connect up your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch to your computer, open up iTunes and do a backup on your computer, okay. So that way you have two backups that you can um, safely go back to if anything happens. Now, if you're updating from iOS 6, 7, and um, you're doing that to number 8, then that's why I'm telling you to do the two backups, because things do go wrong. Now, before doing this small backup, um, just remember that your iPhone should have some battery, okay, at least more than 50%. Um, same thing before doing your whole update, make sure your battery is up to at least 50% and then proceed okay um, so our backups almost done so once it's done just go into software update once again and put install now now do you need your iCloud ID for this no you don't um, well you need your to input your Apple ID after the updates done no you will not this is a fairly small update it will fix some bugs on your iOS okay which is good there have been a lot of bugs with iOS 8 and Apple has been fixing some and uh, making other mistakes but that's just the way it goes anyways for this it's pretty safe to go into it okay I know some updates crash and all that stuff so just make sure to have 50% of your battery then you will see your screen go black like right now um, and then your iPhone will restart once it restarts you're gonna see the little bar the loading bar on your iPhone and then it's just gonna load up it's gonna take around five minutes maximum and that's about it <coughs> um, also do this once you're connected up to a Wi-Fi network it's always better just so you guys don't waste your data plan on this okay um, on a lot of cases you, your iPhone will just not let you update anyways if you're not connected up to a Wi-Fi hotspot anyways that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you